Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular NGRX course. In this video, for example, if you try to see here, where there is one downside of this thing. So, what is the problem is, for example, here if you try to see, when I am in the home page, it's fine. When I am in the home page, it's fine. Now, if I go to the post, right, if I go to the post, here I am calling the post.json. So, I am, I am, I am trying to call HTTP get call. And I'm getting the data so that I'm showing this data. Okay. Now let's go to the home.component.html. And here what I will try to do is here I will try to add div. And if you try to see, I will go to okay post page or something like this. I'll try to add a link. And here if I give router link is equal to it should go to the post page. Okay, so this is the Think what I have given now. If I try to go to the home page, okay. Home page. If I could try to go to home page, I am able to see the link. If I click here, I am going to the post page so that post.json HTTP get call is uh, doing and we are getting the data. And at the same time, what the NGRX data will do, it will try to call the post request and also whatever the data getting from the post uh, sorry, get request, it is saving it in the state. So if you try to see here, entity cache post post. And in the entities, you will be able to see the, all the data. So that means if I go back here and if I click on again post post page means so there is no need to call the HTTP request. So directly we are already having in the state. So we can get directly get the data from the state, right? Now if I try to click on this page, if I go to the network, if you try to see here, again I am calling the post.json and I am doing the get request again. So this cause performance issue. So that means we are repeatedly if we are having the data with us also without refreshing we are repeatedly calling the data and we are getting the data from the server so what we can do this one so here what we can do is so if we go to the post comp dot component dot ts if you try to see here so instead of this get all what it will try to do is all the time when you call this get all it will all the time it will call the http request get request and whatever the data coming from that http request it will try to save it in the state okay store it will try to save it in the store so whenever we are getting the data so get all will always make a get re http request and it will store the data in the store so it will not check anything that it the state if the data is already present in the store to get the data from the store or otherwise make the http request it will not check those all things so what we can do here so we can solve it using two scenarios one one is through the router navigation so when we are navigating from one route to another so just check whether uh, uh, data is present or not in the store if it is present take the data from the store or otherwise just take the call the http get request and get the data okay so or uh, and a second method is the resolver so when we are navigating from one page to another page so using the resolver we will uh, try to get the data first or otherwise if the data is already present in the store so don't take the uh, don't call the http http get request so take the data from the store we need to do so now uh, the first method with router navigation we already saw in the previous videos now we will try to see the resolver thing how we can do the resolver thing here in this video now here what i will try to do here i will create one file that is nothing but the in the post yeah in the post post dot resolver dot ts okay i will create one file post dot resolver dot ts so here i will writing export class post resolver so it should implement implements okay implements resolve it should implement resolve it should be imported from the angular so here i need to return the boolean okay so this one is completed now we need to add a thread injectable so injectable done so now here it it forces us to implement a method that is nothing but the resolve method okay so now here it will be having some arguments route and the state now here what i need to try so how we can know that the data is already present in the store so now here the post data here by seeing in the redex we are able to know that in the state the data is already present but how we can know how we can know that data is already present in the in the store so here you will be having one option that is nothing but the loaded loaded true means is nothing but that the data is loaded okay the data is loaded so loading false means that it's still loading the data we are it is trying to get so loaded we need to check the parameter this loaded true so if you know this loaded is true means that means the entities is already present in the post so how we can check that one 
here we need to let's inject the post service constructor private post service okay so this is nothing but the post service so this is nothing but post entity service what we have created so service base now this post service what we can do is here we will be having this dot post service dot we will be having these all the methods we are having right here you will be having another method that is nothing but the loaded so this is an observable what it will try to do is it will give you the result of this one okay loaded of that particular post so now here if you, uh, loaded if you try to do and here i can make a pipe okay so here you will be getting the loaded loaded data so what we can do here we can we can apply this one in the two ways so first i will try to show you so here i can return this one and here using the pipe so loaded will return true or false so that is the reason there is no error but here i need to check if it is loaded means so i need to return true if it is not loaded means i need to call observable okay so what i can do here so first one will be the merge map why because i need to call the api so loaded okay so loaded if it is loaded if it is loaded means there is already data so there is no need to call the api so if it is not loaded means then i need to call return this dot post service dot get all okay get all will return the list of uh, the list of posts okay array of posts it will return now here we apply the pap, pipe of map okay so now here you will be getting the post and what i will try to do here pipe of map map let's import pipe of map and here i can return not not of post so that means if the post is there means it will return true if it is not there means it will return false here loaded we need to return merge map means it will ex, it will it will re request why it will it will take the observable so i cannot directly return false here okay i cannot return false here directly so what i need to sorry i cannot directly return true here so i need to return off 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 means it will it will try to create an observable off of true okay so we have written the off of true if loaded is there so we are taking off of true or otherwise we are returning bang bang of posts okay so if you try to see so what is the error we are trying to get here now here we are having written the get all pipe of map return posts okay fine here if it is loaded everything is perfect what is the error we are getting app what could be the problem go so, top okay we have not injected the off here okay off let's off also here and here let's hope that this one will go away okay off will not be present in this operators like to okay okay rxjs rxjs it is there okay off is there sir fine so now we got we didn't got any error so now we we are returning observable true boolean thing now let's go to and use this post resolver so where we need to use this post resolver and here in the app routing module and for the post i need to use resolve of post post solver right this one right post resolver i can use this post resolver directly so it's compiled and i need to add it in the app module also i think here post resolver okay so this is also done let's hope this one will work here if i try to see if i click on in the network tag if i go and if i click on the network tab so post.json is called but we are not able to go to that page why we are not going to why we are not able to go to that page so let's check this post resolver here we are sending the observable as soon as we send the observable so this resolver is completed so we are not able to get the data so what we need to do is we need to complete this resolver okay we need to complete this uh, if a, this resolver so how we can do is so here merge map is there right so here we are having the pipe right and we need to write first first means at least one data we need to get written okay at least we need to wait at least one observable it, it need to be written so now if i try to 
refresh if I go to here I click on post see the post.json is called and we are able to get the data so two times post.json is calling we will we'll try to see here and if I go back okay if I go back and if I click on this one again if you try to see here only one time is called so that means from the resolver it is not calling so this one is calling from the component right so I already told you that get all will always try to make the call from the HTTP so now what we can do here we can write entities so we know that the data will be present compulsorily why because the resolver will try to resolve they get the data if it is not present so here we can directly take from the data we, we can write it entities here and now if I try to refresh this page okay first time it is calling the data okay if you try to see first time it is calling the data I went back and again if I click on post page see now we are not calling any network call so here if you try to click on again we are not able to call any call network call so that means the resolve is working perfectly so here it is checking the loaded yeah it is already loaded the data is there in it is returning the true okay so this one looks like clumsier we can also write this one in another way also okay so this one we can write it in another way also what we can write it we can remove this one all okay what we need to do so we need to return the loaded thing yeah we are returning the loaded thing whether it is true or false so now here we need to use the tap operator okay we can use the tap operator side effect as a side effect okay now what we can do here loaded we will get okay so loaded we will get if it is loaded if it is loaded okay if it is not loaded okay if it is not loaded if it is loaded we don't need to worry so entities we can get it dead if it is not loaded then what i need to do this dot post service dot get all i need to call this one okay so using the tab operator we can get this one but now we need to get this service to be completed we need to wait in the resolver until this post service get the data so what we can do here the pipe we are writing right here i can do i can add another one is the first operator first operator means until and unless first data is written so at least at least the data first observable first first response is written so we need to wait it here so we can write it like this also now if i try to see the output here the same output we'll try to get so if i go back if i try to refresh this one okay now if i click on post page so post.json is called and we are able to get the data and here if i go back and if i click on again it's the same the data is not there if i try to refresh in the post page itself it will try to call the post.json it will try to get the data and now it is already present in the store so it will not call okay so this is how we can stop the unwanted http call from the a, a from the api so if the data is already present in the store so there is no need to call we can use it using the post resolver same thing we can apply it using the router navigation also we have already did in the previous videos how we can do that one okay so this is the this is how we can restrict that one so if you observe this one we are completely doing using the ngrx data i am not even writing any action or any reducer anything any selector i am not i am not using i am not creating anything I'm everything i am using the ngrx data I am getting the data, I am calling the HTTP API call from this so using the NGRX data and also I am getting the data using the, what we can say, using the NGRX data only, okay. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.